data 16.4 is pig leaf. Note, Verin has 2.5 days of unused annual leaf and this shall be converted into the paid leaf. So to record the paid leaf, you need to go to the payroll and then payroll management. Okay, and then under process payroll. Okay, you need to go to the payroll there, edit. Okay, so go to the details and then you need to go to the paid leave here. So, you need to key in the paid leave of the days. How many days? 2.5 days. Okay, so there's a daily read there and then it will auto calculate the paid leave which is 336.55. So, when you close, okay, you will need to save and recalculate all because uh, your calculation will be different if you don't save and recalculate. Okay, so you can see the calculation after paid leave it will be 2553.22 and the net pay 2253 after deduction. Okay, EPF and so so. Okay, so after you done, what you can, sorry, what you need to do is you need to go to the summary and you need to commit. Okay, task 16.5 is to commit the payroll process. So click on commit all and do you want to commit? Yes. Okay, so after you commit, okay, now 16.6 .6 is to view reports. So you need to go to the reports. Okay, and then management report then you can go to the payroll report here okay view the reports for Wolverine only so you can actually choose payroll summary or payroll allowance deduction or there's a uh, etc of the payroll report so let's say which is payroll summary Okay, for the period of April, payroll type is month and, uh, sorry, second half just now. Employee Wolverine. So we choose Wolverine only. Okay, so after we done, we can just click on the preview. Okay, so this report, for example, this is the payroll summary of April. You can see the basic salary and then the deduction, EPF, so, so and this is the net pay. So you can actually print out, sorry, you can actually export this to the PDF format and you can email to the uh, Wolverine. Okay, you can see there's an export to here. You can choose which document that you want to export. Okay, so that is for the task 6.6. .6. So I close from the payroll and go back to the company just now so the task 60.7 okay so after you process everything meaning you already process payroll for the uh, Wolverine and then he already resigned so to update Wolverine as a non-active employee because he no longer working in the company so for task 60.7 non-active employee you need to go to the payroll Okay, and then employee, employee maintenance. So if the employee no longer working with us, what you can do, you go to the employee and then you click on edit. Okay, can you see there's a is active button there? You untick is active. Okay, and then you just click on the save. Okay, so that's how you update the non-active employee.